Let's go to number 13. The following graph represents a function y equals f of x when x greater than or equal to negative 3, less than or equal to 5. The function has a maximum at 3, 1 and a minimum at negative 1, negative 1. The function u and v are defined as a u of x equals x minus 3. V of x equals 2x, where x is all real numbers. For number 1, state the range of the function u of f. For the u of f, we can write down u of f of x. So the range of f of x will be the domain of this u. For f of x, the maximum number is a 1. Minimum number is a negative 1. So u of 1 equals, u function is here. 1 minus 3 equals negative 2. u of negative 1 equals negative 1 minus 3 equals negative 4. The range of u of f will be y greater than or equal to negative 4 and less than or equal to negative 2. Let's go to second question. Today the range of the function u of v of f, u of v of f equals u of v of f of x. We do know for f of x, maximum is a 1, minimum is a negative 1. So v of negative 1 equals this is a v function. 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2. v of 1 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. For v of f of x will be greater than or equal to negative 2, less than or equal to 2 u of negative 2 equals u function is here x minus 3 so negative 2 minus 3 equals negative 5 and u of 2 equals 2 minus 3 equals negative 1 so u of v of f the range will be greater than or equal to negative 5 or and less than or equal to negative 1. Let's go to number 3. Find the largest possible domain of a function f of v of u. So f of v of u of x. First of all, let's work out this. V of u of x equals v of u of x, that is x minus 3. Then for every single x in v function, we will turn it into x minus 3. So we have 2 x minus 3, distributed property 2 x minus 6. We will have f of 2x minus 6. Since the domain for f of x is uh, x greater than or equal to negative 3, less than or equal to 5. So we can set up 2x minus 6 greater than or equal to negative 3, less than or equal to 5. Solve this uh, inequality. We add a 6 uh, both sides. You will get a positive 3 less than or equal to 2x, less than or equal to 11.
then divide it by 2. x greater than or equal to 3 over 2, less than or equal to 11 over 2. This will be the domain of uh, this uh, function. Let's go to B. Number one, explain why f doesn't have an inverse. We know only one-to-one -one function has inverse function. If f doesn't have an inverse, definitely it's not one-to-one -one function. Second question, the domain of f is restricted to define a function g so that it has an inverse of uh, g of x. State the largest uh, possible domain of uh, g. We know the minimum value for this uh, f of x is negative 1, negative 1. The maximum point is uh, 3, 1. So the largest uh, possible domain of g will be between negative 1 and uh, 3. When we restrict the domain of uh, f into negative 1 to 3, then this is a 1 to 1 function g. For number 3, sketch a graph of uh, y equals g of x, showing clearly the y-intercept, stating the coordinates of the end point. For y-intercept of inverse function will be x-intercept of uh, original function. We know for the inverse function, the coordinate will be switched. It will be from xy to yx. And the graph will be reflected across uh, y equals x. So let's draw y equals x first. This is y equals x. The intersection of y equals x and the g function is this point. This point will be on the inverse function. This is the x intercept of g function. Then the y intercept will be 0, 1. And 3, 1 will be changing into 1, 3 on the inverse function. Then we can connect these three points to form the inverse of g of x. This is 1, 3.